uh, do you blame uh, Kirk Cousins or do you blame uh, Mike Zimmer of how this has been an underachieving year for the Vikings? How about injuries on the offensive line? Yeah, that's, that's and injuries crazy. to your running back who's Never having a clearly not healthy. The thing is, we all understand that football is an intensely physical game. These guys are physical freaks. I'm never going to judge the toughness of an NFL player. But the thing is, we look at guys, hey, he had a down year, and we forget he's coming off an ankle injury, yeah. and it takes some time to recover, especially when you're still getting smashed every <laughs> goddamn week. So the thing is, uh, it's clear to me, it's clear to me Dalvin Cook's not healthy. On the offensive line are plaguing them right now. And so I just think it's it's a bad circumstance for a new quarterback to come into the team to try and establish that playbook with him. And given all the circumstances, I just think it, it's a lot going uphill. I didn't think the Vikings were going to be very good no. this season because of all these circumstances to begin with. And their offensive line play has not been good over the last two or three years in general. Overall, their, their offensive line has never been their strong point. It's always been defense and then, and then a decent running game. Okay, um, But right now, what's going on is that it's not Kirk Cousins' fault. You knew what you're getting when you signed Kirk Cousins. And I'm not going to just blame Mike Zimmer either because he's one game away last year from being in the Super Bowl. Well, they were they were exhausted by the time they played Philadelphia. Yeah, and sure. they played with a with a quarterback that's worse than Kaepernick in Case Keenum. So, I, so you're saying is he should be a starter? Yeah, absolutely. Yes, exactly. exactly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>